Hi there, it's Jim from Janku, and today we're going to take a look at ripple editing in all of Video Editor. We're in the alpha version here, and let's first go and grab a couple video clips. So I'm going to switch over to Firefox, and I'm at this site here called Cover with two R's dot co. And if you scroll down here, they have a lot of high quality videos here. So let's just grab a few. I'm going to come in here and get this video of this guy lifting weights here. I'll do a free download, and I'll save my file. And then let's come here. Let's look for a couple others. This video here of Grand Central Station is pretty cool. Let's download this. Save that as well. And then maybe let's just grab this cyclist here. Looks like this is a, a premium piece of content. Let's just come back here and look for some more of this free content. And let's come here and let's grab these people jumping rope and download that. Okay, so let's go over here to our files and let's go to our downloads and let's just unzip these three files that we just downloaded. So I'm going to double click on this. And I'm gonna press extract and say extract and that adds them right here to the same folder. That's great. And let's just get out of this and then let's grab this one as well. Let's extract here and let's just grab. So we have Grand Central Station. Okay, that's great. And let's grab this jump rope one here and extract this as well. Okay, so we have all those. We can get rid of these zip files now. Let's move those to the trash. And then let's just move these files all out to the downloads level. So I'm gonna move this up a folder into downloads. And I'm going to come in here and do the same for these jump rope clips. Okay. So now these videos are all in our downloads. We don't really need the JPEG, so this looks like it's just a cover. Let's just delete the JPEG, so I'm gonna move that to the trash. I'm gonna keep the MP4. I don't need the JPEG here, move that to the trash. I don't need this JPEG, move that to the trash. And then these empty folders we don't need anymore, I'm gonna move those to the trash. Okay, so we have our three videos here in our downloads folder. Now if we go back to Olive, we can come in here and we can import those, so let's go to our downloads folder. Then I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna click so I can select all those and I'm gonna press open. And then I'm just gonna select all these and I'm gonna drag them from our project to our timeline here. Okay, so now we have these all in a row and I can hold down control and zoom in or out to zoom in or out on the timeline here. And we have all these clips in a row now. Let's just take a look at what I'm talking about when I talk about ripple editing some of this. So this first clip here is the Grand Central Station clip here. So if we play this, you can see it playing in real time. It's already a sped up video. Now, maybe we wanna speed this video up a little bit more. So we can actually click on this clip here and we can play with the speed setting. So if I right click on this, you can see this speed duration setting here. I can click that and I can play with the speed. So let's just show what this looks like if I were to bump this up 200%. So if I bump this up to about, and if I double click on, I can set the value exactly. So let's say 200 and I say, okay, notice that this jumps down to a much shorter clip because it's much faster now. If I play this, you can see the clip is much faster. Now, look what happened here. It created a gap here, and if this was a large project with many other audio and visual and effects clips after this, you know, you'd have to adjust all these things manually. Like, you'd come in here and you have to grab everything and you'd have to move it over, and it becomes kind of a pain. So let me just do Control Z to go back to where we were before we did the speed duration adjustment. And let's do the same thing. Let's right click on this and do speed duration. And again, let's bump this up to 200 and say okay. But this time, let's check this box that says ripple changes. So I click that and I say okay. Now notice how everything behind it jumped up so there's no empty space in there anymore. Essentially, that is what rippling does. It moves all the tracks before and after so there's a seamless integration with a change that you just made. Let's demonstrate this in a different kind of way. So let's take a look at this clip here of this guy lifting weights. So this is the very end of the clip and say we didn't want this last push up to the top right there. We just want it to end right here before we go to this next clip. If I select this clip here, I can press control K to cut it. And you see that we have two clips there now. So we have this clip and this clip are independent even though they're both part of the, the weight training video. And now with this second clip here selected, I could do a ripple delete. Now the shortcut for doing that is shift and delete. So if I click that, 
it deletes that little section and it moves the clips afterwards right to that same area. Let me just control Z to show that again. So basically what I'm doing here is if I right click, I'm doing this ripple delete here. So you can right click on it and press ripple delete or you could do the shift delete shortcut which I tend to use a lot when I'm editing videos. It's just a lot easier for me to use shortcuts. And that will delete this little clip here and move everything behind it up a little bit. So let's just do that by clicking again. So we cut off the end of that video there and that's great. So that's a really helpful command and just keep in mind that when I'm cutting the clips before, so I'm using the control K shortcut there and you can see that I'm, I'm cutting those so they can be selected independently. I'm going to control Z to get rid of that. Um, but essentially what you're doing there is you can come up here and you could use your razor tool to do the same thing. So we have our razor tool. If I select that and I could come in here and I could clip this at any point. So I could just select right here and I could clip and that clips that into two different sections there. And then if you go back to this select tool here, I think it's called the pointer tool. Yeah, the pointer tool. You could come and you could choose these individually. So that's essentially what you're doing there. Now let's play around with some of these other ripple commands. So one thing that I might want to do is I might rearrange these different things like this. So I might move this clip up like this. And what I can do here is I have a couple of shortcuts. So I can just press the W key. And what that will do is it will clip everything from where my playhead currently is here on the timeline over to the start of the next clip. So we clip this whole section in the middle, even though we haven't done any cutting of this clip with the razor tool yet. So let's just do that. This clip's selected here. I press W and it clips all that whole section there. So you can do that on the other side as well. So if I come over to this other section over here and I want to clip from the playhead to the start of this clip here, I could just press Q and that will clip that section out. You don't even need this clip selected actually to do that. So those shortcuts are really handy to come and start editing things. So say we want to play this video here and we have Grand Central Station and that goes into the lifting and then we say right about here we want to cut over to jumping rope. I can just have my playhead here and I can press W and that will clip. Actually, this is the next cut I had there. And since there was already a cut here, that just goes to the next clip there. And we can essentially now play this. If we came and we moved our timeline, we can see that we have the weight lifter. Then we have our, our cut here. And then we'll go over to jumping rope. Let's see. Another thing you can do with your clips here is you can actually just override other clips by moving these around. So if I were to move a clip like this, it creates a space, but I can actually get rid of this clip before it by covering it up like that. And now if I were to move it, that clip is completely gone there. So I could come here and I could grab this and I could move this over these other clips right here. And we're back down to our original three clips, starting with Grand Central Station over here on the left, going to the middle where we have the weightlifting and then finishing with the jumping rope here. So let's just play that from the beginning. Okay, so that's the intro to doing Ripple editing in Olive. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows to share this with other folks who are interested in this type of content. And stay tuned for more of these tutorials in the near future. Thanks for watching.